Hey you guys, it's me, just Tiffany B. I'm back with another video, and today, as you can tell by the title, we got some Kylie Cosmetics products to talk about. Yes, in a matter of a few hours, tomorrow, she's launching her birthday collection that's coming out very soon. There's a lot of pinks, there's a lot of glitters. Let's go ahead and jump right on in and talk about it. Alright you guys, so I try to film this video as quickly as possible because with Kylie Cosmetics, things move fast. I don't know why she does this, but for some reason, um, Kylie likes to announce her prices in a matter of a few hours before the, her collection launch. Well, I don't know about y'all, but it's very inconvenient for me. Like, Kylie, you already know what you want your collection to look like, how it's going to be, and I bet you already know the prices as soon as it's made. Why do you keep us on our toes all the way until a few hours, five minutes before it launches? Can you please just tell me the prices in advance so I can map myself out and see if I want to purchase your products or not? That's all I'm asking. Just give me the prices. Like, you already know what the price is going to be. Don't hide it from us and like, oh, peekaboo? By the way, the price is this, you know. But still come buy this. No, bro. No, stop that. Ever since the day since the collection came out, I've been on Trend Moods page day after day after day. Like, is the prices there yet? Prices there? No? No prices? Oh, okay. Anyways, in celebration of her birthday, she came up with this new collection with new products. And she was like, you know what, it's my birthday, so you guys need to come pay me. Go ahead, buy my products. I need that check though. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about this collection. As soon as I seen this collection right off the bat, I'm like, wait, hold up, let me check my calendar. Are we in February? Is Valentine's Day right around the corner? But I am definitely not mad at the design of the collection at all because if you guys really know me, I love pink. Like pink should be my middle name because everything pink and glitter, that's definitely me. So when you see this collection, all you see is pink and glitter so you already know like, yeah, Tiffany gonna love the packaging. She came out with two lip sets. Each of them are $36, right? So there's one set that are velvets and one sets are mattes. And both of the sets has different colors. So for $36, each set come with six different lip colors. So you're paying $6 for each liquid mini, okay? So in the mattes, you will receive One Wish, Baby Girl, that's in the Coco collection, Angel, that's re-promoted, she put that out there before, August Bug. <coughs> June bug is really June bug, <clears throat> but it's called August bug. That's a repromotion. All nighter and gorge. That's in the Coco collection. So out of that six sets, there's only two really newish colors. So basically, if you don't have like the Coco collection, or you didn't get your hand on Angel, or you get your hands on June bug, and you don't have Kat Von D's LUV, or if you don't have Mac heroin then this lip set is for you but for me i already have her cocoa collection i feel like i already have june slash august bug i feel like all nighter is very similar to doll in her cocoa collection the new cocoa collection that came out i feel like it's so similar that i don't need to waste my money to buy that collection just to have all nighter one wish and angel look so similar it's just that angel is a little bit darker so for me, I'm going to pass on that because I have majority of the colors in there. And for the other new t shades, I don't feel like they're actually new shades. I just feel like it's slightly a different color in the packaging. So I'm going to I'm gonna pass on the all matte. You guys, look at your collection before you go out and buy a lip set. See if you don't already have these colors so you're not wasting your money. For the all velvets, remember, it's also $36.00. There's six lippies in the packaging. Surprise Me is in the set. Commando. Commando was already re-promoted. Sparkle. Birthday Sue. Party Girl. And LA. Now with the velvets, 
out of the six colors, three of them won't fit my skin tone because Party Girl, Commando, and LA, all of those are like pale nudes for me when I put it against my skin tone. So if you like those nudie nudes and you never got her send me nudes or you never got her Kylie slash Kim nudes because they're basically the same shades. If you never got your hands on those and you want to pick that up with a few colors in the collection, that would be a good buy for you. But for me, nah, I'm good. The Ultra Glows. She's coming out with two Ultra Glows for $14. And you guys, when I say her Ultra Glows, and she didn't change the formula because I didn't get my hand on one of her Ultra Glows Fiji. And I did do a little mini review comparing it to the Artist Contour highlighters. So if you want to check that out, you know, check out my last video. Eight. But anyways, off the bat, I'm going to let you know this highlighter is bomb. Like for $14, you are saving money and you're getting a bang for your buck. So she didn't change the formula. This is the way to go, okay? Now, I have a love-hate relationship with the Ultra Glow she came out with this collection because out of all the Ultra Glows that she made, Fiji is the darkest. And on my skin tone, Fiji is on borderline decent slash a little bit too ashy for my skin tone. So when I see that she came out with King and Queen, King is closer to a champagne gold, is lighter than Fiji, while Queen is a pinky highlight. So if you like a pinky highlight, go ahead and grab Queen. Because of the shades, the colors that she came out with, I'm going to be passing on these. But if you're lighter than me or if you like a pinky highlight, go ahead and grab them. It's a steal. Kylie, please come out with some darker shades. Kylie, mix up the shades to the ultra glows, please. I beg you. I think the birthday book the birthday book you guys the birthday book this should be the focal point to her collection you guys like the birthday book is completely glittered it's completely pink it says all I want so should I not want it now when she opened up the birthday book of course packaging top-notch can nobody knock her for her packaging because it looks bomb some might say it's a little girly, but hey, no one can't take that kid from inside me. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, so when you open it up, the first thing I thought when I saw this book is like, oh, it looks a lot like her Valentine's, Valentine's Kylie Diary. It looks a lot like it. But as soon as you look at the shade, the eyeshadows in there, Kylie went ahead and put the names right under the shadows. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Don't think I didn't see that because I saw it, but thank you, Kylie. But you still got a little bit, a little bit of ways to go, Kylie. If you're coming out with a different book, kind of make it more different than the other palettes that you came out so it doesn't feel like we're wasting money on our products. Because when I look at this, if you have this eyeshadows and you have her burgundy, because yes, there's a mount, there's a few golds in there, and you have this burgundy set. You don't really need the birthday book. You, you don't. I just saved you $50. You're welcome. <laughs> but honestly, like, I only used this palette once. I only, legit, I only tried it on once. I'm like, oh, this is cute. All right, I'm going to throw this in the back of my drawer now. Nice to have it. Now, let's talk about her blush and her highlight underneath that palette. I saw Trend Mood go ahead and swatch the blush. The blush was very faint and it was very light, like a light wash. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's not gonna work for me. The highlight will seem subtle, so I'm like, you know what? I'm good. Her eyeshadow formulas is not at the point where it needs to be for her to be selling only nine eyeshadows for $54. Yes, you're getting the book. Yes, you're getting the amazing packaging and a uh, blush and a highlighter at the bottom. But like, honestly, people are really buying it for the eyeshadows. And I really feel like her formula is not where it needs to be to make it be $54. Another thing that she's coming out with are two glosses. It's cherry pie and cupcake. Each of them are $15. I wasn't surprised when I saw that it was $15 because all her glosses are $15. Now, am I going to be picking them up? Uh, no, not really. 
I when I saw the colors I'm like okay no I kind of seen them before I felt like um cherry pie is close to a shade jolly in her I think it was either jolly or naughty one of them was like the lighter one whichever one was the lighter one I feel like is basically the same but in a different packaging now cupcake not for my skin tone i don't really like light glosses like that for my skin tones i i kind of like a medium warm glossy now some people might love the light pinky peachy glosses if that's you go ahead and pick it up boo but just make sure you don't already have that shade in your collection or if you want a duplicate do you do you but her formulation for her lip glosses are bomb so if you want to go ahead and pick it up it's totally up to you i'm just passing on them because the colors didn't make me want to buy them so moving on is the makeup bag and the makeup bag is for 36 dollars i'm not surprised that it's 36 dollars because every time she came out with a makeup bag it was 36 dollars now i passed on all the other ones before but you guys this bag is pink and this bag is glitter so i'm on the fence if i want to spend 36 dollars on a makeup bag that i know i'm just gonna stuff underneath my couch until i'm traveling every once in a blue moon and i'll just pull it out then i don't know do i want to spend 36 dollars just to hide the makeup bag until i'm traveling 36 dollars i might buy that that's in my might list you know but that bag's cute though it is it is her brush sets are for thirty dollars and i've seen her came out with brushes before they were more smaller and the way they look even the way they look now i don't like she came out with brushes before nobody did rave about it to the point where it caught my attention so i'm not gonna spend thirty dollars on a whim for some makeup brushes and i got millions of makeup brushes i'm good lip kit 20 looks gorgeous love the packaging love the box love the color love everything now when i look at lip kit 20 i feel like it's angel but slightly darker that's why i'm not mad that i'm passing on the mats because i'm getting the lip kit 20 and it looks like angel is just darker you know i love warmer shades so you know i'm gonna have to pick that up the lip kit is for 30 dollars as usual are you guys gonna be getting the lip kit 20 i feel like that's like the must to get out the collection have you guys saw that bedazzle lip liquid lipstick i'm disappointed that it came in the color candy because does it fit my skin tone but it's okay because it's bedazzled when the price came out for it well i felt like it was going to be no more than 40 dollars like the liquid lipstick is 17 dollars right so how do you go from 17 add some bedazzle okay it's 60 dollars you guys Go ahead and buy it. Go ahead and buy it. It's bedazzled. Don't think about the price. Just go ahead and buy it. No, bro. No. No, 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 no. Listen, man. <laughs> I understand for those people who are like makeup junkies and they need everything in their collection. I dare you. Go out to Michael's, buy some crystals, and glue them on yourself. And I feel like you appreciate the lipstick more that you did it yourself and you saved what like forty dollars i think we got through everything you guys i think we got through everything now let's talk about this bundle though so in this bundle she included lip kit 20 the matte mini lip kit queen ultra glow she included the birthday book and she included the two glosses and the makeup bag now all of that is 175 dollars now when i saw that price i'm like oh, okay $175? That's the cheapest I've ever seen your bundle, Kylie. What's going on? What's going on? The reason why it's so cheap is because you don't have the other Ultra Glow King. You don't have the Velvet. Well, the Velvet, I understand. Like, you don't need both of the lip sets. I wish you had an option to choose of which lip set you wanted in your bundle, but hey, it ain't my company. You don't have the Bedazzled Candy. I was kind of disappointed with the bundle as well like I wish she would do the same things that she was doing before which where she made multiple bundles with different prices so people could choose from it make it more customizable for people because if you try to stick them all in one box they're gonna get upset for this bundle you gotta know in your heart that you want every single thing that's in that bundle because you're paying $175 everything in that bundle I don't really want so I'm gonna pass on it 
I'm gonna try to save my coins sorry <laughs> you guys go ahead and think smart when you're shopping don't let the packages suck you in okay I understand that it's pink and I understand that it's glitter but save yourself save your wallet okay save your credit cards I feel like when I look at this collection I honestly feel like she didn't put any thought into the collection I feel like she put a lot of thought into the packaging but when it goes into the shades and bringing out new products to us, it's either she's losing, like she doesn't have any more ideas that she just trying to re-promote things, or I feel like she didn't take the time to think about what will look good in this collection. So even though it's pink and glitter, I am disappointed when I saw what was in the collection. So I feel like I talked for hours, but let me just hit the key point. Tiffany, what are the things that you're getting out of this collection? I will be getting the makeup bag if I get my hands on it. And I also will be getting Lip Kit 20 because it looks gorgeous. Go ahead and tell me what you guys think about the birthday collection. I understand it's coming out tomorrow, so let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, you guys. If you're still around and you haven't clicked out on this video yet, did you hit subscribe yet? Because you know, it's right below. Just go ahead and click on that red button. And if you already clicked that button, go ahead and click the bell. You know, it's one and the same. Go ahead. Don't leave me yet. Go ahead and click this video right here. Watch some more of me. You know you want to. <laughs> Alright, bye you guys.